Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if your gamepad is detected on Windows 11 but it's not working in-game. Now the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the hardware and devices troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window make sure to copy paste the following command from the description below and then just press on enter you will see that the hardware and devices troubleshooter window will appear. From here on just click on advanced and make sure to tick the box next to apply repairs automatically and just press on next to detect any issues as Windows will try to fix them as soon as possible. You can then just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to reinstall the USB drivers. Now to do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options. And now in here in the device manager window make sure to expand the universal serial bus controllers and afterwards right click on the USB composite device and select the uninstall option. Now just click on uninstall to confirm this procedure and then wait until this device will be uninstalled. Now what you have to do is simply repeat this procedure for all the problematic devices in here. You can also delete some devices that are duplicated, like for example the composite device. You can just uninstall these devices and you can just close this window, restart your computer and you will see that some of them will be reinstalled automatically. You can then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to remove the ghost devices. Now to do this, right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options and afterwards in the Device Manager window make sure to expand the Universal Serial Bus Controllers then click on the View menu or the View tab as they name it and then select the Show Hidden Devices option. Now besides the universal serial bus controllers you can also open up the human interface devices which should be around here, expand it and afterwards you can also expand the sound video and game controllers section and make sure to choose the lighter versions as you can see they show a bit more transparent these are the hidden devices make sure to right click on one of the problematic devices and just uninstall it. So let's just right click one of these problematic devices and select the uninstall device option and then click on the uninstall button to once again confirm this procedure. You can then restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to perform a system restore. It might help get your controller back up and running in your favorite games. So just press the windows button then simply type rstrui and select it as a run command from the search result. Now in here just click on next and choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred and then once again click on next and lastly select the finish button to start the restoration procedure. Now you just have to wait until it's finished, your PC will restart a few times and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.